A new romantic comedy is coming this month to CBS, and it's called Bob Hart's Abishola. The show brings two cultures together as it follows a middle-aged U.S. businessman who falls in love with a Nigerian immigrant nurse while he recovers from a heart attack. Let's just take a little look. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Abishola. What do you want with Abishola? There's something wrong. Why does there have to be something wrong? There's a white man at the door. Tell me, when has that ever been good? Hi. Hello. I promised you the best made socks in the world, and I am a man who keeps his promises. Thank you. So, uh, anyway, is uh, today like a day off for you? Yes. Uh, who was that man? A patient. What did you do for those socks? <laughs> He likes the way I say Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the groundbreaking Bob. sitcom showcases the first Nigerian family on national television. It's a big deal. And here to discuss what we can expect from the new show are the co-stars, Falake Olowo Yo Foyaku. <laughs> Did I get it right? Olo Olowo Foyeku. Olowo Foyeku. Yeah. My Nigerian fans are going to be really upset at nah, me. I was, that was, I was thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> and Billy Gardell. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming on. Um, all right. So this is this is remarkable because it is the first time ever that we've had a Nigerian family on American uh, television. Uh, it's a big deal. Um, but Billy, I want to start with you. Sure. What can we gather about Bob's persistence in pursuing yeah, well, Abishola? <laughs> I think uh, well, Bob has you know a heart attack because of stress and and uh, and his business, and he probably doesn't take care of himself as good as he should, which is hits close to home for me. <laughs> I'm always working on that. Mm. And uh, he wakes up and his nurse is there and she's this strong, kind, caring person and he's struck by her. And I think uh, he just decides in that moment, you know, when you have a moment where you almost lose your life, you think, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to be afraid of taking chances anymore. And I think when he meets her, he goes, you know what, I'm going to see if I can just get her to give me a chance. Let's see if she'll do that. See if I can just get her to give me a chance, see what happens. And it's very sweet in the pursuit. And it's going to be a slow evolution because they're learning about each other and there's a friendship there first. And it's about building that bridge. And it's very sweet and very funny. There's a whole other level of added pressure for you, though, right? Is there? Yes! Yeah, I know you. Look, Don't, so freak my, so, <laughs> so, Don't freak her out. My background is West Indian, right? So for years and years and years, Jamaicans have had to endure people pretending to be Jamaican on television mm. or movies and massacring the accent right. and everyone else thinks the accent sounds great and authentic and we're like, that's not what we sound <laughs> like. So, I mean, you must have known that you had to nail all this stuff because it's going to be a critical eye. I didn't feel like that. I grew up in Nigeria. Right. I, my formative years were there, so I just had to borrow from the experiences of my mother, my aunties. Um, I didn't feel pressure, though. I don't think I felt pressure in um, portraying that aspect of the character, because it's organic. If you sit me with my friends from it 19... It comes out. It, <laughs> you wouldn't hear anything I said. In <laughs> fact, I had to kind of tailor it a little bit so it wasn't too strong, because we're not using subtitles. Yeah. So, like, it's still, like, it crosses over to the American audience. Right, right. Yeah. Do you, um, one of the things that I think what makes this so remarkable is that for many, many years, as you know, uh, that there was a perception uh, here in this country, but in other countries too, about how Nigerian American, uh, how Nigerians were perceived. And the government in Nigeria, as you know, I, I told you that I worked there for a couple of years, they made a really concerted effort to showcase the best of Nigeria and to remove the conceptions that some people, the preconceptions that some people had about Nigerians. Do you, so when people in Nigeria see you and they see you representing, let's face it, you know, millions and millions of people, um, how does that make you feel when you think about that? Uh, also speaking for myself, it's great to see a positive representation uh, of Nigerians on such a big platform. Um, from what I've heard, people are also happy about the same thing. And, um, and not just my character, we also see my auntie. Played by Shalati Wusi, and we have some other Nigerians as well on the show, and they're all positive and authentic representations of Nigerians. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Bill, you're a sitcom veteran, right? I guess so. Yeah, huh? you know how to do right? this, and you know how to yeah. do this properly and make people laugh, but this is an entirely different environment. Um, I mean, was there a learning curve for you? Because you're also learning a new culture. I, you know, I don't, I think if you just stay on the track of kindness, and love, all that other stuff dissipates. Right. And I think we've forgotten that. 
<laughs> and so I think people are, are thirsty for kindness. I think they're thirsty for laughter and shared experiences because when you boil all of us down, what do we want? We want love. Yeah. Maybe we want a family. We want all a good job. Bad. We want our children to flourish. That's a yeah. good mix. It's mixture. all the same thing. Yeah. So it's not yeah. that hard. It's not that hard. I would love to see a, like, Nigerian. I know you said you're going to tone it down a little, but I would love to see a Nigerian expression like Nawao become like oh, a catchphrase. That. Really? Oh, oh, no, you we have that? stuff. You do? Like really? Yeah. There's stuff oh, yeah. in there like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Have you guys seen the pilot yet? No. no we oh, weren't we able to get, it. We're able get our hands on it, yeah. CBS. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah you, you're going to get all of that and yeah. more. Really? Oh, yes. That's awesome. Looking forward to that. We actually do have a little bit of a clip that we can play for our viewers. Great. This is my stop. Oh, wait till I'll tear for you. I'm a little pee shy. Would you like me to insert a catheter in your penis? I really wouldn't. Oh, my dear, my time, shit, oh, and oh, why shit, I, yo? Oh, my dear, my time, shit, oh, and oh. That's nice. What's that? I used to sing this for my son before I put him to bed. Always walked. Oh, my dear, my time, shit, oh, and oh. Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> so, so, what were you singing? <laughs> uh, I was actually singing a song I grew up listening to. Uh, the translation is three kids are playing, playing joyfully. And, um, yeah, it, it, it actually is a folk song that became a pop song in Nigeria growing up, around wow. my high school, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So we can expect more, that's, that's, that's what I was hoping a lot more. we would see. You know, it's not just, look, let's face it, sometimes shows like this, they come out, and as you pointed out with the accents, and generally some of those things are played for laughs, you know, but what it seems that the direction of the show is headed is that it's gonna really showcase um, the true culture of Nigeria and what makes Nigeria such a unique country within Africa. That's, yes. Yeah, that's where Chuck is so brilliant, Chuck Lorre, because he uh, also um, brought in uh, Gina Yashere, who's a, a comic who's English but Nigerian descent, to make sure the Nigerian uh, culture is represented uh, accurately mm -hmm. and, and not not in a cartoonish way. This is about real people that are just different that find common ground. and. I think that's a good message. Mm -hmm. do you, do you, I have a quick question. Um, why did? Uh, I'm cut you off. That's okay. No, I, I'm curious why Chuck decided on Nigeria because it is interesting. And we were talking a little bit earlier about well, there have been shows with you know mixed couples before. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Certainly shows about Mexican Americans, or now you have you know fresh off the boat yeah. Chinese Americans. Mm -hmm. But why Nigeria? Out of all the countries he could pick, yeah, it's kind of cool. I don't, know. I don't know. The guy sees the future though, so I'm, I'm going to trust him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people don't realize it's the largest country in Africa. It's the most populous, you know, the biggest economy. I think um, he went there. I think he, he was on vacation there. I think that had something to do with it, too. Uh, I think Chuck was down there on vacation, and mm. he, I think that was part of the idea. Mm, interesting. I'm grateful. Yeah. Yes. yeah, we all are. We all <laughs> Me are. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, both Thank of you, you guys for being for here. Thank you. Can't Absolutely. wait for the show. Thank you. And you can watch the premiere of Bob Hart's Abishola, September 23rd at 8.30 p.m. Eastern only on CBS.